Jefferson, as his life evolved, increasingly became uncomfortable with the stories of Jesus in the Gospels. Jefferson sets out to remove the miracles and retain the morality. He produces a Bible in which there are no supernatural elements, no references to Old Testament prophecy, no angels, no miracles, no resurrection. Now his motivation is really to get to the core teachings. And so he felt that those things that are miracles or can't be explained really are outside of the core teaching and had been added over the years by various misunderstood people. Abstracting what is really his from the rubbish in which it is buried, easily distinguished by its luster from the dross of his biographers, and as separate from that as the diamond from the dunghill. Jefferson strips away angels, miracles, and the resurrection itself in his search for the moral center of the text. Now, an Orthodox Christian would read the Jefferson Bible and say, how very sad. How very sad to have a Jesus with no miracles. How very pathetic not to have the resurrection of Christ. But Jefferson thought that that kind of violation of natural law was an impossibility, and he thought that the resurrection of Jesus was an historical fable imposed upon the life story of Jesus. There laid they Jesus, and rolled the great stone to the door of the sepulcher, and departed. The book ends there. For Jefferson, it's not an act of desecration, and it should not be understood as such. For Jefferson, it's a kind of act of enlightenment piety.